It's the first word. All right, fellas, it's going to be who you got from here on out. So get ready for it. Aaron Rodgers, you love the way he throws, the way he moves, the way he splits the atom and saves polar bears. <laughs> the highest rated passer in NFL history through his first three seasons. Ben Roethlisberger, you love his poise and his shoulders and his rings. 10 and 2 career in the postseason. Let's start out with you, Tim Kalashaw, because this is your Super Bowl, the North Texas Super Bowl. Who would you rather have on Sunday? Well, there's a lot to like about both quarterbacks, and as the only panelist who was around both quarterbacks at Media Day yesterday, oh, that I like the something. way they're both <laughs> handling things, the way they're answering questions. They both look very confident. But you hit it that Aaron Rodgers is already, or as soon as he throws a few passes yeah. uh, on Super Bowl Sunday, highest rated postseason passer yeah. of all time. He is so accurate right now. You know, people talk about the Bears game and he didn't play that well. Go back to that first drive, five for five, 76 yards. He took charge of that game and the Packers kind of shut it down after that. You know, as much as there is to like with the Roethlisberger and all the intangibles and the 10 and 2 record, mm. I got to go Aaron Rodgers. So one vote for Rodgers. How about you, Adonde? So that's how you're judging your post game, uh, your postseason guys. Passer rating, I'm going with rings. I'm going with winning. Ben Roethlisberger already has two championship rings. He's also won five consecutive playoff games, nine of his past 10. Those are the numbers that really impressed me. The one loss was on a last minute field goal mm -hmm. in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So if you want a guy who gets it done, who's not afraid of the moment, who comes through again and again in the big games, all he does is win like DJ Collette, I'm going with Big Page. Ben Roethlisberger. I find it funny that Jay doesn't want to talk about passer rating of today. He wants to talk of past six years. I think you, you, even though they're very close, you got to go with Aaron Rodgers. Kalashaw's absolutely right on this case. If you look at what his record has been during the course of the year, what he's done lately, I think that's just slightly superior to what Ben Roethlisberger has accomplished this year. Not only has he thrown for more than 4,000 yards, but here we talk about Roethlisberger and his ability to get away from the rush and everything. The fact that Aaron Rodgers has rushed for more than 350 yards this year means that he can get out. He can be an effective weapon in addition to being the great passer that he's become. I want my man on Sunday to be Aaron Rodgers. Romani Jones. Yeah, but remember, he's a different kind of weapon outside. Where Rodgers is running, Roethlisberger is extending the play, finding guys downfield. You've got to take the guy that you've actually seen do this. We haven't seen Aaron Rodgers play in a Super Bowl yet. We've got to go with Ben Roethlisberger without question on that. Okay. He's the, he's the best guy. The other part is you talk about Rodgers, and yeah, he ran for 350. 50 yards, but he also took a lot of licks. Roethlisberger has won a Super Bowl with an offensive line that never should have won okay. a Super Bowl. This one might be the same way this year. You've got to go with the guy with the experience and has shown that he can carry a team in ways that quarterbacks Show normally can't. I think when you look at Aaron Rodgers, you go back to December, and he didn't even know if he could come back from that second concussion in time to get his team to the playoffs. Now he's led his team to five straight elimination Adonde. wins. He's on a mission. Talk about poise in the pocket. I like what Warren Sapp said in Mike Wilbon's column today on ESPN.com that mm -hmm. Roethlisberger doesn't mind if you hit him. He'll stand in there. He'll take the hit. It doesn't matter. He can absorb it, still make Page. the play. Well, I think I'd rather not be Roethlisberger when I'm lining up behind a center that hasn't been my man all year long. Well, they've had two weeks out. to figure that out, though. Jones, last word. Yeah, look, Aaron Rodgers is bickering with his guys about photographs. You're going to take him over the guy that's got two rings and on the way to a third? Mm -hmm. Well, that's just Same. photographs. Once we get to the game, I think everyone's going to forget about this whole <laughs> yeah, photo flap. That's what I think. Yeah. We'll move on. Who you got is not just on the field. Labor discussions going right up mm. through Super Sunday. A meeting scheduled for Super Bowl Eve Saturday night. Is nothing sacred? Roger Goodell, the man on the cover of Sports Illustrated, not Ben or Aaron or Palomalu or Matthew. <laughs> is it possible? That the NFL versus the Union is bigger than Packers Steelers, Bomani? I think it absolutely is, and I think that Sports Illustrated covers an indication of that. They didn't do that because they just decided people wanted to see Roger Goodell. They did that because they think that's where people's hearts and minds are. The union is in Dallas, and they're doing their best to be seen, and guys walking around with T-shirts about stopping the lockout. The special master decision just came down the other day that really lets us know how this is probably going to go, and the NFL made a big deal about their end on that. The players' union also. Both sides are definitely more concerned with that, and that's what consumes our consciousness as a public. Page. Bomani, I think you're out of step with the people are the people having <laughs> uh, parties to celebrate the labor against the owners are they going to sports bars to watch what's going on with the uh, negotiation this is the anything. biggest week 
of all year in this country. Super Bowl, you can say that Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever, but people want to watch and pay attention to the Super Bowl. More gambling's going on about that than any other event in the history of this country, and you're telling me that people are sitting around going, oh, there may not be a season uh, next year. Challenge no, show. people are concentrating on no, the game. The fact, <clears throat> they'll figure you know, The ratings are going to be great. The ratings have been great, but the fact is, Bomani's right. The labor issue does hang over everything. The players talk about it. They don't really want to answer questions about it, but it's on their minds. It's on the it's on the fans' minds. People know, and I think everybody knows, it shouldn't come to this. We're really just arguing about percentages of profits and things. This is a very profitable league. It's not a league that's in any kind of real trouble like the NHL was when it had to shut down for a year. It shouldn't be happening, but it is, and people don't understand why. Adonde. Well, Tim, that's the thing. It's too complex. People don't want to analyze the difference of revenue sharing and what counts and what doesn't and who's going to get what percentage. People are interested in how the Packers' offense is going to do against the Steelers' defense. I guarantee you, everyone on this panel, what question do you get asked the most all year round? Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? It's happening again this week. I don't mm -hmm. hear people saying, who do you think is going to win the owner versus union well, labor negotiations? Well, that's a question we've asked on this show got, as well. Who you got, Goodell or D. Smith? You're not hearing that question asked. Jones. No, they might not ask which sides you have, but I have heard more than enough people say that they are perfectly aware that this could be the last football game they watch for a long, Mr. long Page. time. Well, and I don't think people believe that. If you listen to talk shows and you're part of them, all you hear are, what are they going to do for the draft? What are they going to do at quarterback next year? People mm. assume that it's going to be worked out, even if it's not. They'll begin to worry in August. Right now, they're thinking about the Super Bowl. Callous they show. don't want to People are still Goodell asking those cover. questions, but when you tell them the answer is none of those teams are doing any of that stuff. Nobody's trying to trade for Kevin Cobb or whoever. They're all worried about the labor situation. Then they well, realize Dante. the significance. I don't think the general public will be generally concerned until we get to the point where they're about to lose games. It's just like we know the sun is going to burn out one day. We're not worried about whoa, that right whoa, now, whoa. are we? Well, well, the sun is going to burn out one day? When is this happening? I, Breaking I, I, news. <laughs> it's not gonna last it already forever. happened in Dallas. Did everybody get in what they needed to get in that discussion? It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, we Let's move on. Oh, yeah.